Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Tanya and this is Creations with Tanya. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy block, the pinwheel. Yes, and I'm using two packages of layered cakes. I have colored layer cakes and background color layer cakes. So uh, basically what you do is you're going to take one 10 inch square fabric of the background and one 10 inch square of your colored layer cake and put them right sides together and I'm just going to unwrap this layer cake and show you what you do next. This is going to be so quick and simple. You are going to be amazed. I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my squares. I'm going to show you how this pinwheel is done. I've put the right sides together. Honestly, it's um, the cream one. There is no technically right side, just if you're taking it from the top of the pile, just use that as the right side and then flip it over. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew quarter inch seam all around the square. Okay? So I just so happen to have one already done, which I have sewn, as you can see here. And now what you need to do is take your ruler and your rotary cutter and cut on a diagonal this way and this way. So I'll show you that right now. And I'm using a smaller cutting mat just for ease of turning my work with a smaller cutting mat. And if you have a cutting mat that's a rotating mat, use that. Go ahead. So I'm just... So there's one cut, and I'm going to rotate it, and corner to corner, diagonally. There we go. And here are half square triangles. Another easy way if you have tons of half square triangles to do. You just sew all the way around your square, quarter inch seam, and there's your half square triangle. So next I'm going to iron it to the dark side and give these little tails, because you'll notice they'll have little tails here, a snip just so that it's not as bulky when you go to sew them together. Flip my mat over to the iron side. A little bit of a iron there, and then I always uh, make sure that the dark side that you're gonna be ironing to is on top. So. Whatever color is on top is the way that you are going to iron your seam on the back. So then how you're going to lay out the pinwheel is rotate half square triangle around so it is color white color white color white color and white and there is your pinwheel block and now like the four patch we're gonna sew these together and these together. But first I'm going to trim off the excess little dog ears and I will sew these two and show you and then we'll sew the top and the bottom together. Be right back. Okay so I've sewn 
the two top two pieces together and I've sewn the top two bottom pieces together and now I'm gonna and I also made sure and another reason why sorry um, you should always do to the dark side is because then it's easier for your pieces to nest together So I will be right back with this sewn. I've sewn the top and the bottom row together and now I'm just going to give it a good press. There we go. There is your beautiful pin wheel. And now you can use a 10 inch layer cake or you can also use your five inch charm pack it's like honestly it depends on how big of a block you want and how quickly you want to make your quilt <laughs> um another thing once you get this done there are so many different multiple ways that you can make blocks out of this one block and different patterns because um, they call it the disappearing pinwheel and I'm going to show you people will think when you've done this and they will think oh my goodness you have worked so hard it's beautiful breathtaking I am just showing you uh, this quick and easy way the best thing to do is measure out your block and divide it's by three. So, what is ours here? So it looks like ours is 13 and a quarter. Okay. So we're gonna, I'll be back with the measurements. I've squared up my block to 12 inches and divide that by three gives you four inches so just sent line up the center line and do two inches from the center all the way around the block like this And there we go. I'm just going to show you what we can do with this. So now that you've got your nine pieces cut, just by turning this in, rotating it one way, and putting the middle blocks all with the color in, gives you a totally different block. So 
turn all the half square triangles color in and these strips the color in towards the middle and look at this how freaking cute is that so if you keep these corners the same way but then turn these out and the same goes for if you turn the white half square triangle material into the towards the center will give you similar to what you had previously. But the background is in the center now. Same goes for turning these also. Color combination of the block. There are so many different variations you can do with this block. And people will think you are a miracle worker. And you just sew it together like you did the pinwheel. So top, however, whatever pattern you want. I will put up some of the different patterns that you can make with this one block. And there's roughly 11 to 12 different block variations you can do with the disappearing pinwheel. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful quilt day.